Thomas Newman has one of the most distinct and unique musical voices in film music today. In this video, I'm going to break down how he uses various modes, and how they play their part in helping him to achieve the Thomas Newman sound. Let's take a look at the Dorian mode first. The Dorian mode is very similar to the natural minor scale, but instead it has a raised sixth degree. So instead of C, D, E flat, F, G, A flat, B flat, and then C, which is the C natural minor scale, the C Dorian mode is C, D, E flat, F, G, A natural, which is the raised sixth, B flat, and then C. Tom Steumann makes use of the C Dorian mode in perhaps one of his most famous pieces, the music which accompanies the plastic bag scene at the end of American Beauty. Here's the very opening of the piece. You can see that we have E flats and B flats, along with A naturals. If we replace these A naturals with A flats, transforming it into a C natural minor scale, it changes the overall feel of the piece completely, giving it a much sadder tone. So by using the Dorian mode, the piece has a much more brighter and uplifting sound. Newman also makes use of the Dorian mode in the opening titles to Finding Dory. This time we're in F Dorian though, which uses the notes of F, G, A flat, B flat, C, D natural, E flat, and back to F. Here's the D natural, or raised sixth, in bars three and five. The Lydian mode is very similar to a standard major scale, but with a raised or sharpened fourth degree. So the mode of C Lydian would be C, D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, and C. The addition of the raised fourth again changes the fundamental feel, and as Newman describes in his interview at the Oxford Union in 2016, helps to give a sense of hopefulness and rise. My first example of Newman making use of the Lydian mode is from the cue called Eve from Wally. Here the harp is playing the melody which makes use of the D-flat Lydian mode, with a raised fourth resulting in a G natural. Another example of Thomas Newman using the Lydian mode is the opening cue to Lemony Snicket's A Series of Unfortunate Events. Whilst the melody is again played in the harp, this time he uses the D Lydian mode, resulting in the G sharp, which you can see here. And the last example of Thomas Newman using the Lydian mode is from the theme to the TV series Six Feet Under, which is in E flat Lydian. The piece opens with a piano chord with a root of E flat, with an added A natural. Newman then has the pizzicato strings playing a fast figure, again with an A natural, giving us the Lydian feel. If you want to have a go at writing a Thomas Newman inspired track, check out my five step guide which walks you through the process step by step. A link to the guide is in the description below. So what actually is a mode? A mode is like a scale, but with modes we can have different notes which we class as the tonic or home note. So for example, let's take the C major scale, which is also called the Ionian mode. This is the first mode of the major scale. And when we play all of the white notes between C and C, we get that familiar C major sound. So let's again just use the white notes, but instead start on the note of F. 
We now get the different, brighter sound of the Lydian mode, the fourth mode of the major scale. So this time, our tonic note, or the note we resolve to, is F, as we are in F Lydian. We're using all of the notes found in the C major scale, but our home note is now F. The mixer Lydian scale, or mode, is another mode which is very similar to a major scale, but this time has a flattened seventh degree. So the C mixer Lydian mode would be C, D, E, F, G, A, B flat, and then C. The flattened seventh degree helps to give what my ears perceive as a more soothing and ambiguous sound. This first example is again from Finding Dory, this time a cue called Hide and Seek. Here we're in A mixer Lydian, meaning we have A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G natural, and A. The harp is used again for the main melodic material, with the G natural giving the music the mixer Lydian sound. If we replace the G naturals with G sharps, the tone is a lot more cheery and upbeat. And finally, we have another piece from American Beauty, this time from a track called Lunch with the King. Centered around the E mixolydian mode, the flattened seventh results in D natural, giving the mixolydian flavor. Newman uses this short piano phrase of D natural and F sharp, leading to E and G sharp over and over. So a lot of Thomas Newman's music sounds to me quite ambiguous. It often neither has a strong pull towards major or minor tonality. Using the modes, I think, goes a long way to achieving this, especially when, say, you're using the Dorian mode, which brightens up the tonality of a minor key. So there's a quick look at a few of Thomas Newman's scores which make use of the modes. Let me know in the comments below if you have any examples which I haven't covered, as well as your favourite Thomas Newman score. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.